What's going on everyone? My name is Sherwin and in this video we are in the Shed Studios. Uh, I want to talk about two different Model Ys, my 2022 Model Y performance and our friend John who has a 2023 Model Y long range. John's been in a few videos on this channel. One of them is where he shared a story about taking his one week old Model Y and driving cross country to Atlanta, Georgia, where his Model Y's charge port broke. Like they, they couldn't drive back home because it just wouldn't charge at superchargers. So this was one week old. Um, but if you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. I have the link in the description below. We will be taking a look at three data points for the two Model Ys. My Model Y performance will be for 30,000 miles, 40,000 miles, and his at 55,000 miles. I have created a spreadsheet that you can access if you check the video description. I have a link there and you could follow along. If I have any errors in my calculation, do let me know. But basically to get the electricity cost, we're going to take the energy used and we're going to multiply it by the cost per kilowatt hour. So it's pretty simple. Now to get the gasoline cost, what I did was I took miles driven, divided it by miles per gallon. The answer you get from there, you multiply by cost per gallon. That'll give you the cost of gasoline to drive that distance. If we were to look at my Model Y performance, 30,000 miles driven, it happened January 18th, 2024. That was about 505 days from date of delivery. So total energy use is 8,384 kilowatt hours. My efficiency watt hour per mile is 279. Keep in mind at some point during this first 30,000 miles, I did swap out my wheels and my tires. So the Model Y performance comes with 21 inch Uber turbine tires and they do come in a staggered configuration. I kept the staggered configuration uh, just like the stock sizes, except I went from 21 inch diameter to 20 inch in diameter. Also, the new wheels are a bit less in weight. So I have a video on that. If you're curious about it, uh, go check it out. The national average in the United States for electricity is 16 cents per kilowatt hour. And so if we were to take a look at that rate, the cost would be $1,341.44 to drive 30,000 miles with the efficiency of 279 watt hour per mile. So I have different uh, electricity rates. So you could take a look if it's 26 cents, it's $2,179.84, so on and so forth. Now below, we have a table that shows cost per gallon with miles per gallon. If we were to take a gas vehicle that's a similar size to the Model Y, I would say a Toyota RAV4. Uh, it floats somewhere around 25 miles per gallon to maybe 30 miles per gallon. Yes, I know there is a hybrid version that says it'll do 40 miles per gallon, but let's just take a look at just the gas only. And let's just say that it will do 30 miles per gallon. So if you live in an area where gas is $3.99 per gallon, and you are driving a 30 mile per gallon vehicle, to drive the same distance, it would cost $3,990.13. If it's $4.49 per gallon, then you would pay $4,490.15. But keep in mind, there's many factors that go into the efficiency of electric vehicles, just like gasoline cars. It could be weather, it could be road condition, it could be your tire wear. There are just so many things. This is specific to my 279 watt hour per mile efficiency. So depending on your watt hour per mile, you may be better, you may be worse. I reached 40,000 miles on September 7, 2024, just over two years old, 738 days after taking delivery of my Model Y. 
So at 40,000, my vehicle used 11,208 kilowatt hours. The efficiency got a little, just a little bit worse at 280 watt hour per mile compared to 279. Again, with the national average cost of 16 cents per kilowatt hour, I would have spent $1,793.28. If we were to take a look at the 30 mile per gallon at 399 per gallon gasoline, I would have spent $5,320.13 or at $4.49 per gallon, we would have spent $5,986.82. Now, as soon as John hit his one year anniversary, he sent me a photo of his trip data of his Model Y long range. And at his one year anniversary, he drove 55,000 miles. Now, you may notice that his efficiency is a little bit worse than mine at 305 watt hour per mile. I'm not gonna have any wild accusations but I'm gonna assume that his wheels and tires are heavier and maybe I'm just stuck in traffic a lot more than he is. Cause you know, the worse the traffic, the better efficiency your electric vehicle will have. So to be exact, it's 55,163 miles. Total energy use 16,797 kilowatt hours and his watt hour per mile again is 305. If we look at the 16 cents uh, per kilowatt hour rate as the national average, he would have spent $2,687.52. Looking at 30 miles per gallon at $3.99 per gallon, he would have spent $7,336.68 or $4.49 per gallon. He would have spent $8,256.06. These numbers that I'm sharing with you all, it's just as if we don't have solar and we're just paying the grid to charge our vehicles. Now we both have solar panels, but he has power walls and I believe what setup he has at home can fully charge his vehicle. Now I don't always charge at home because we at that time, or at least most of the time I've had my Model Y, we've had two EVs and Abby's Model X is always charging at home and I just supercharge. Um, but just imagine if uh, we, fully charged at home, these numbers, like we wouldn't even be spending money at all. So there is a huge savings if you really do charge at home instead of just supercharging or public charging. So what do you think about the numbers I've shared? Did you think that there should have been more savings? I mean, again, the watt hour per mile plays a huge factor into these calculations. The Model 3, if I remember from when I had my Model 3, I was floating around 220 to 250 watt hour per mile on efficiency. And there's even days that I would get like 193. So the efficiency on the Model 3 uh, may be a little bit better. I had a 2020 Model 3 long range. Now the cost between electricity and gas should scale depending on your location. What I mean by that is areas with cheaper electricity rates more than likely will have cheaper gas like per gallon cost. And in areas like in California where electricity is expensive, our gas price is also more expensive. So if you are curious about the cost, you can download the spreadsheet or make a copy of the spreadsheet. I have it publicly available. And you just need to change the three different variables, your total miles, your total energy used, and your watt hour per mile. Those are the only three you need to change. And the two tables, uh, electricity cost and the cost per gallon should change automatically depending on those three numbers. Uh, do share that information below in the comment section. I am curious if you're in a different state with different electricity rates, as well as different gas prices. I wonder if it really does scale the same way where the price difference is similar. 
Let me know if you are interested in me doing another video just on the formulas that I use or if you need additional assistance in trying to figure out how to calculate your numbers, just do a comment below and I'll gather them all up and do another video. If you like the video, please like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I also invite you to check out my 30,000 mile Model Y performance review video if you haven't checked it out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.